Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nano Lays the Dawn. Once again, I'm your host, Shadow Fury333, and we have one last game between Snuggle Base and Lori. This time, Snuggle Base going for Amphib, while Lori going for Heavy Tanks. I didn't expect that, but, well, that works too. That's not a bad choice for this map. This map, Doom Patrol, is interesting because it is mostly fairly flat, all vehicle pathable, except the very center. That center bit with the water, it's not the deepest water, but it's deep enough. It actually does cause problems. Like it's, well, sort of. It, it slows things down, at least. I think it actually is not vehicle pathable. I have to check, and I will. And, it, no, it looks like it is. It is vehicle pathable, but it's very slow. The obviously players will kind of go around that, and they won't really bother with it. They'll instead go around, actually, I think, it, I don't know. I thought it wasn't pathable. Regardless, players will typically go around it. That's usually what happens. They'll go around it, and they'll go and... So if they're not playing Amphib or Hover, if they are playing Amphib or Hover, they can just basically make a home inside this area. Which is really handy. What we're going to see is a bit of harassment, and not much return harassment. Snuggle Base does not have any ducks anywhere near Lori's base. Lori will likely build up a couple of Lotuses to deal with them before it becomes a problem. And there's... This is where the Kodachi is going to shine. There's no static defense right now. There's the Ducks, and that's actually going to be a bit of a problem. That Kodachi... Will it run away? No! Take a bit of damage. In fact, it's dead. I got rid of two Metal Extractors, though, which is pretty good for early pressure. Nuggle Base right now in a tight spot. But they can reclaim, and they have a fair amount to reclaim with. As well as loads of damaged ducks. Though ducks do repair very quickly. Once they hit the water, they will be at full health in no time. More Kodachi is coming in from Lori. Lori is expanding quite rapidly. They have the defenses they need too. That's one of the things in this map. This map really requires that you build some static defenses first. Because there are so many angles to be attacked from. Especially for some of these lower expansions where you can't see the enemies coming easily. Yeah, this should heal up, no problem. Actually, it's not that deep. Maybe it won't heal up that quickly. As Snuggle Base seems to realize, not really worth it too much. But, might as well stick there. Yeah, it'll be out of combat healing. That'll fix up that duck before the water really does too much. Once, it, once 20 seconds or so have passed. And that... Well, that duck's dead anyway, so who cares? Not the best attack from Snuggle Base. The Snuggle Base is really falling behind right now. Lori has a massive economic advantage. Snuggle Base has very little in the way of what they can play. They have some ducks, but they basically have to rebuild their army now. And Lori has twice the economy. Well, not quite twice. Uh, with Reclaim, they'll have twice. But yeah, they still have a much stronger economy. They have a stronger economy. They have Reclaim to work with. They have... Oof, still losing a few Kodachis here and there, but that's probably fine. I mean, they're essentially wiping Snuggle Base's force pretty much every time they hit it. Snuggle Base can't even get any attacks, and they've got to switch off of ducks. They've got to switch on to boys, or switch on to... or attack from a completely different angle, I suppose. But switching to boys, or switching to scallops, would work really well, I think. Although, it would be slower, but at least it would last longer. But then, of course, that's when the Panthers would come in. So this is a bit of a tricky setup right now for Snuggle Base. They're managing still to get their economy into a relatively safe position. Kind of got lucky there, actually. I mean, well, I should say, Lodri kind of didn't quite think things through, because they attack. Attacking right where Snuggle Base is not the best idea. Like Snuggle Base's commander would be. Does Lodri have radar? They don't have radar over there, so I guess they wouldn't necessarily have known. But Snuggle Base, still applying pressure. And not... No, never mind. Nope. No, they're not. Got discouraged by the Pillar of Fire. I'm just surprised that the ducks are still being built. Why is Snuggle Base still building ducks? Build stuff that counters Kodachi, at least. They're not going to be building Panther anytime soon. They're building... <laughs> Lori going straight to Reaper. I mean, at this point, they can pretty much just knock down the door with Reaper. Probably win with Reaper at this rate. I don't know what Snuggle Base is doing. 
I'm also a little bit surprised they didn't go for Hovercraft. Because Hovercraft can deal with this no problem. Just as well as Amphib can. But this is also, it's a much larger map than it looks. It appears to be a smaller map, but it's actually hard to play bots in this map. I'm not sure the exact size is offhand. I think it's like 12 by 14 or something like that. But I'm not sure. I'll check one sec. It is 12 by 8, actually. Oh, wow, that actually is smaller than I thought. So it's 12 by 8. But it turns out to be a bit harder to work around. At any rate, this is where Lori is basically just going to knock down the door. And Snuggle Base... If they can't answer that Reaper, they've lost the game. And it looks at these ducks. Are they going to go for a counterattack? That's really the question. If the ducks go for a counterattack... I don't see it doing very well. Like, what this one spot they can kind of thread through, and that's about it. Attacking the Lotus's head on would be suicide. Attacking the Reaper head on would probably be suicide, and they're totally out of position to do that. And the boy's coming in place to deal with this. But I still don't see it. Like, that Reaper is just ripping everything apart. It's taking hardly any damage, too. It's gonna be... You know, the boys are gonna be a bit of a problem, but not much. Really, not much at all. And these ducks doing nothing. That's... That's a thousand metal just sitting there. Doing nothing. But yeah, now these boys... Okay, the boys... They're a threat. They should have been built a while ago. A few minutes ago, there should have been boys. I'm kind of surprised it took this long for them to be built, but they are built finally. However, uh, this is where we probably will... Are we gonna see panthers? Nope, still just reapers. I'm guessing Lori's just going to go straight Reaper. They're probably aware of the boys. I think. Oh, they are now. They're aware of them. They don't want to mess with them too much. Not with the Reapers. Panthers should do okay. But Panthers would get slow, so it's not great. Yeah, this is something Snuggle Ways can do. It's a bit hard to answer. Not impossible, just a bit hard. Actually, I suppose Kodachi's answered pretty well. That's why boys wouldn't have been built earlier. But like I said, Scallops would answer Ko Kodachi's pretty effectively. And now the Reaper's gonna die. Like, that's the thing. The Reapers should be afraid, because the slowdown, that hurts them. And also, they take a lot of damage. Boys deal quite a bit of damage, and they fire quite quickly. Like, DPS of 83, okay, that's not huge. But when it's impossible to fire back because of the slow effect... Becomes a bit of a problem. But these ducks still aren't really doing much. I don't know if Snuggle Base is trying to find an opening, trying to find where they can attack, because at this point they don't actually know. They don't really know. They know a bit of the defense profile for Lordy, but they don't know all of it. And they once again are not going for air for Vulture or anything. Gunship coming up from Lodri. Gunship Factory coming up from Lodri, so that's going to be interesting. We should probably once again see Banshees, I'm guessing. Dealing with this? I mean, maybe... Actually, Rapiers, I would... I would actually suggest Rapiers. Because the thing with boys is that they're kind of beaten by things that don't worry about fire rate. Something with high alpha, boys can't do much against. Boys deal best with things that rely on DPS. They deal like it with Reapers too, because Reapers, they don't actually have huge alpha. Like, 640 damage alpha is okay, but it's not for the amount of damage, and like, this don't deal damage quickly. The 4 second reload time is a huge weakness, and now it's just making it worse. Like, making it 8 second reload time means they're barely dealing any damage. But I think there are enough Reapers. Okay, it looks like 4 Reapers, that should be enough to deal with these boys. Even considering how much the boys have been dealing with the Reapers without issue, it still might come in. But hey, Snuggle Base, it has been... They've been getting ground. They've been taking back their territory. South side of the map's starting to belong to them. Wow. The 18 boys are actually really scary. And okay, the Rapiers are what's being built, which, like I said, that's what I'd expect. High Alpha doesn't worry about slow. Slow is itself, actually. Or slow is... It, it fires a slow missile. It doesn't slow itself in the process of firing. That'd be an interesting unit, but I don't think... 
anyone's going to bother building that. I don't know really what it would... I don't know. As a balancing factor, it slows itself as it fires. So its damage rate, fire rate goes down. I don't know. That just seems like a weird, weird micro sync. Yeah, at this point, there are enough Reapers. It's going to be a bit of a problem, but even then... Oh, right! That's the other thing. Slow, because it slows movement. Right, that's why the boys have an easy time. Because the Reapers can't run away. Because Reapers are by default... 73 ml per second. Yeah, Reapers are by default considerably faster than boys. It's just they come in a range, they get slowed, and then the boys just trap them. Because it gets below the boy speed. That's an important thing to consider. Now, Stardust is something where the boys are going to completely counter. Because that defends so much on fire rate. That's true of most defenses, actually. Stingers, no. Lotus is yes. Defenders, sort of. And here come the Rapiers, the one hope that Lori has. Which is actually a pretty good hope. Losing one, but against that many boys, taking out two or three of them, that's not a bad attrition rate. It's like six Rapiers against 12 boys. The 3,000 cost boys against 2,000 cost Rapiers, and the Rapiers got out on top with a bit of micro. Lori still has a chance. Now at this point, the matchup's going to be even more favorable. Oh, I'm not quite getting it. Not quite hitting it. There we go. Got, got two of them. So yeah, Lori at this point, they have a position they can work from. These boys are not going to last very long at all. What is Nungaway's planning on doing? They're planning on going for air, but not much else. And at this point, it's definitely favorable for Lori. Very much so favorable for Lori. So, I think Snuggle Base may end up losing this. Good comeback attempt, though. Really good comeback attempt. And it's not over yet. Far from it. Just Lori with four Reapers. Especially getting rid of the commander, so there's no real forward presence here. With four Reapers against now far, far fewer. Bo yeah, okay. Snuggle Base throws in the towel. That is game. That is going to be game. So, that is also going to be it for me tonight. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Very interesting little set of three set or set of three matches. Lori winning that out two one, and that's it. So, yeah, interesting. I don't know. Snuggle Base. It feels kind of weird given that Snuggle Base is head of the training clan that I'm a part of, but yeah, Snuggle Base, don't mana spam. <laughs> That's really the thing that I think both games that Snuggle Base lost, they lost because of mono spam. The one game they won, they did mono spam bandits. The one the main reason I think that worked is because no one mono spams bandits. Like Shield versus like Lori didn't really scout and Shield versus Cloaky, Shield goes for the Shield Ball. That's what Shield does. And Lori was playing against that. They weren't really scouting out as well as they could have. Snuggle Ways did scout out, and that was good. That Vulture was awesome. It was really good they had that. So they could see exactly what was going on, and then they were able to just deal with everything. I mean, in that case, I still think they should have gone for a couple Racketeers, just to make it a bit easier to get through the Warriors and the Zeuses. But otherwise, the Mass Bandits worked. Mostly because Lori was encountering it, and I think Snuggle Base was aware of the fact that Lori was encountering it. The Vulture might have seen the Sharpshooter, I'm not totally sure. They probably saw the fact that there wasn't a lot of light units. The fact that the build-up up to that point was kind of an anti-shield ball build-up. Like Zeus, Warrior... They're all kind of heavy units. And the Sharpshooter would have really put it in. Like, would have like, been the icing on the cake there. But that didn't happen, because that wasn't what Snuggle Base went for. But yeah, other than that one mix-up... The monospams do not help. This have not helped. And Amphibs one actually Amphibs is a factor you can kind of monospam with more than spiders. Spiders you cannot monospam with at all. Duo spam or trio spam at minimum. They rely so much on synergy. Amphib, there's a bit more you can get away with, but ducks against Kodachis apparently don't work as well as one might hope. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and have a good night, everyone.